this video i am going to discuss about regression analysis mathematical model what is a regression analysis and what are the dependent and independent variables how we are going to formulate the linear regression analysis and non linear regression analysis welcome the meaning of regression analysis is it's a powerful statistical method that allows you to examine the relation between two or more variables of interest and here it consisting of two basic things one is a dependent variable the main factor which we are trying to understand or trying to predict how the independent variables are going to be dependent so these factors will allows you to hypothesize and which is having an impact on your dependent variable here i will try to explain what is the meaning of it this dependent and independent variable in terms of one metal cutting operation by taking this particular paper this general they have gone with the basic turning operation and here the dependent variables are the surface roughness and the tool wear and the independent variables are the input parameters which are going to influence the tool wear and surface roughness like cutting speed feed rate and depth of cut for this particular experimental data these authors has developed a multiple regression model for the both responses like flank wear and the surface roughness by considering the independent variables like cutting speed feed and depth of cut see here you can see that first order model and second order model like simply we can term it as this first order model is a linear expression and this is second order model is a non linear expression so we will try to look over with what are the terminologies this coefficient of determination and all in the step by step now what i will do is i'll take the experimental data from table 1 from the published journal and these are the inputs and these are the outputs which i am going to be consider and here the first thing is i need to estimate the first order model for the tool wear so for estimating the tool wear thing is i have to go to the data tab then i have to go for the data analysis in this data analysis i have to specifically select the regression and here here the input y range see this input y range talks about what is the dependent variable which i am going to choose so here the vd is the dependent variable i am going to select this one like this and the input range x i am going to select this dfv up to the 16 experiments which i have collected and forget don't forget to tick out this uh, labels because i have included df also in my input range so tick it and you can able to say that the confidence level is also up to 95% that is up to you and you can also give the tick mark to the residuals residuals means it will have a prediction of the data which will be used for our further statistical analysis also you can make a tick of this residuals if we require residual plots also you can make a tick of this one we will see this uh, this one uh, for the ra now i will try to say i will try to give that uh, in a new uh, worksheet means a, a new worksheet is going to be created here okay and then i will simply press okay see now let's go here we have got the output here see this is the statistical data which we have got okay so here the intercepts so this is the main thing which we need to have an equation so if you open this one see zero vb is 0.013 and the same thing we are we have got it here and that d intercept is 0.117 0.177 and f is 0.1181 0.1181 and v is we are getting 0.0044 the same thing we are getting here and r square see r square is coefficient of determination so coefficient of determination is 87 if you convert that one to 100 we'll get 87.9 percentage and this is an adjusted r square also we have got it here here we will get the anova analysis also directly here then i will go to this one and again i will click the data analysis and again i will go for regression okay now i have to change it 
now this vb range will be in the form of ra because i have to go for the surface roughness i am selecting ra and the input range so input range is again earlier i have selected dfv so the same input range i am keeping it here and then i am trying to uh, just to give the confidence level as 95 percentage and remaining everything options i am let it over like this and press the ok button so now i have got this regression analysis for surface roughness this first order model for first order model for surface roughness or i will keep ra because ra simply ra see how i can able to intercept 0 0.2558 so 0 0.2558 and d value is minus 0 0.325 so minus 0 0.325 into d plus f is 5.318 5.318 and v is 0 0.04 the same thing and r square also i have getting it as 54.2 so next second order model see in the second order model we are having some terms here like d square f square v square d into f d into v f into v so these terminologies are not available here for me so what i will do is i will try to uh, go for copying the same data again here okay and i will try to term it as d square f square v square okay and i will call i will try to uh, make d square with this particular formula okay f square also f square and v square also v square now i will simply drag down the data i'll get this particular data similarly i have to get d f v i have taken df dv and fv so d into f d into v and f into v so for this one i will multiply how i have to multiply d multiplied by f next is equal to d multiplied by v enter next is equal to f multiplied by v sorry f multiplied by v enter and simply i will do a drag and drop now i will get the values so just i am making it a tabular column a beautiful tabular column for our easy convenience of recognizing of these things then i will copy the outputs ra and vb to this particular section like this okay now this is my current data this is for second order second second order polynomial second order so for second order i have to prepare the data like this okay next what i will do i will go to the data tab i will go to the data analysis tool i will go to the regression okay regression okay in this regression what i have to choose is input range so input range what is the input range here i am having i am having input range for this y is for vb up to here and then for x will be from d to fv again to the down section okay this entire thing i have to select confidence level residuals everything i am keeping it as it is and press ok button now you try to analyze this data how we are going to analyze this data and all see here these intercepts are given to us okay so let me see step by step so i am getting so 0. 893 0 0.893 next 0 0.2623 into d 0 0.2 minus 0 0.2623 into d 0 0.3301 into f so 0 0.3301 into f 0 0.062 into d square so 0 0.625 into g square 2.734 2.734 2 f square next 0 0.00 that is here we can see that e power minus 6 you can take in consider it as 0 0.00 v square then 2.221 into df and here also we are getting the r square as 96.5 so that r square 96.5 we can able to see it here even the adjusted r square also we can see it here so like that we can able to do it for uh, r a similarly for uh, this is for vb 
So similarly for RV and here we can able to observe that uh, uh, predicted VV and residuals also this will be used for, for, for our further statistical analysis also we can do. Similarly we have to do it for RA. So RA simply what I will do is I will select this RA table, RA table okay as an input range and in, uh, output range, input range will be this XA table then I will press ok. So the same statistics which I have done it in the earlier case, I will get it here. You can able to compare it now very clearly. For RA 3.306 and 6.331, okay, 23, 23, minus 0 0.024, minus 0 0.0239, it is 0 0.04. And here we are getting R square also as 0 0.96, 0 0.96. This also R square we have got, okay. This is the way we are going to develop the first order regression and second order regression models and here the R square is one of the most important value. Most of the cases we have to take the R square which will be greater than 95% because the confidence level will be 95%. So we have to choose the value of the R square and the mathematical model which is going to be fit it should be greater than 95. Okay. Since we are not considering this one we are considering only the second order model. Thank you.